Plants, like most living things, need water to survive. In the tropical display house. That's uh, pretty much Botany 101. They use xylem and phloem. Um, xylem is going to be what's taking up the water, and after a certain amount of time, you will see uh, the colors actually start to change in the petals here. Alexandra Cantwell, the adult education manager at the Norfolk Botanical Gardens, has a simple at-home experiment to show how plants absorb the water they need to survive. Drop the stems of white flowers in water dyed with food coloring and watch how the xylem takes up the water and the food coloring. And that's important again because it's not only taking up water, but it's taking up, as you can see, other things that might be in that water, uh, nutrients, um, fertilizers. All the while, botany blends in with some forces from chemistry and physics. Cohesion and surface tension are what hold the liquid together. And then adhesion is what attracts that liquid to another substance. And those forces are stronger than gravity. They pull the water up and whatever's in the water through the xylem to disperse it throughout the plant. The water travels through the plant until it gets to the end where transpiration occurs and the water evaporates out of the plant. But pigment is left behind so you can see here the blue is deposited at the tips and the margins of these petals and that's where we see the colors left over. This colorful illustration shows that the plants are not only working for their well-being but for ours as well. They're taking up a lot of the stuff out of the soil um, various toxins, pollutants, things like that. Uh, so they're a key component to improving our water quality in the area.